Uh, so now we're on to our last uh, company, uh, Watergen, a truly innovative company that's been around for, for, for over a decade um, and have implemented their technology across the globe. Uh, so please welcome Zach Fenster, VP of Business Development at Watergen. Hi, Zach. Hi, everyone. Bienvenidos. Shalom. Um, it's great to be here with you all today, virtually, if not in person. I'd like to thank Ms. Rodriguez Ortez and IDB, and of course also the Israel Innovation Authority uh, and Startup Nation Central for pull, pulling together this really uh, amazing and very interesting event. So it's great to be together with other uh, Israeli innovative water companies. I'm just going to um, share my screen with you. Great, so can you all see that? Yes, I can see it. Great, wonderful. So, you know, the conversation today is of course about water. Um, and it's been uh, really fascinating to hear about all of the other companies um, here that have presented already. And a theme that continues to sort of um, return on itself and, and, and is oftentimes spoken about in water is how do we conserve, how do we save, how do we monitor. Um, but I think even before the COVID-19 crisis, and certainly now that we're in the COVID-19 crisis, we also need to have a complete paradigm shift when we're talking about water broadly and drinking water specifically. And that's not only how do we conserve what we have, but how do we make more? and actually guarantee that all people in the world, no matter who they are, what their station in life is, where they're coming from, has the drinking water that they need in order to thrive and survive. And what we're doing at Watergen is utilizing a completely unique and internationally patented technology in order to create more drinking water than exists today, drinking water from the air. Now, the drinking water crisis, excuse me, I'm sorry. The drinking water crisis today, uh, I think is actually, and you know, it's, it's uh, connected to the current uh, COVID-19 crisis. It's actually, I think, probably the biggest crisis that we face today. And that is first and foremost, because it kills, um, millions of people per year and has tremendously deleterious effects on people's health in indirect ways as well. Many, many more than millions of people. We've been hearing about that already over from some of the uh, speakers today, the connection between drinking water and health more broadly and COVID-19 specifically. Now, what we need in order to have a healthy water and drinking water system is we need both a clean source right? And we need a transportation system in order to deliver that source from where it exists to where it's needed. Now, I don't want to get too into it because I think that the audience uh, and certainly IDB is, is very familiar with this. But in terms of source, to make a long story short, today we're running out of clean drinking uh, resources in the world. And this is because of global warming. This is because of increased demand. Um, this is because of pollution, et cetera, et cetera. And as global population is expected to rise, demand is rising just as our water supply is actually evaporating. Now, there are a bunch of different technologies that people use in order um, to address this issue, this issue of source. For example, desalination is a very important thing here in Israel. The problem is that with desalination, of course, you need that source of an ocean. So if you're not uh, living next to an ocean, then that's a huge problem. 
Um, but you also need the infrastructure, as I mentioned before, to get the source or the water that is from the desalination plant to the people who need it. We in Israel are a very small country, but around the world and certainly in, in Latin America and the Caribbean, this is oftentimes not the case. And in much of the Western world and indeed actually around the world, much of our water infrastructure is rusted and filled with dangerous pollutants if it exists at all, right? If we're talking about places in Africa and Southeast Asia, and, and really around the world, oftentimes rural communities, there is no infrastructure at all. So people have to get water somewhere else, right? They get water filtration systems, but these oftentimes don't work. They get dr plastic drinking water bottles, but these are costly and they create tremendous amounts of pollution. So what we see is if we go back to this water equation, we need a new source and we need a new transportation system in order to address this tremendous global problem. And what we at WaterGen are, do, uh, are doing is basically completely refiguring and revolutionizing that drinking water source. We're creating that drinking water equation, excuse me. We are creating a new source of clean drinking water and that is the air all around us, right? And because we are creating clean drinking water from the air that's around us, be it in our home, be it in our office, school, hospital, municipality, et cetera, et cetera, the list goes on. Because we're producing drinking water right where it's needed, we don't need that transportation system. And so we're actually enabling plug and drink solutions. I'll present uh, a bunch of our different de devices in a moment but we have plug and drink solutions that completely eliminate the need for infrastructure, for pipes, for plastic bottles, et cetera. Now, how do we do this? I'm not gonna get too much into the tech, uh, technological details because of course uh, we can speak about them in the Q and A, but Watergen created the world's first ever drinking water extractor. And what it is, is sort of like if you can think of a heat exchanger, which we find uh, in a lot of appliances, but, uh, you know, in your air conditioner, for example, you, you wouldn't want to drink this water and it doesn't create enough water and you'd have to pour a tremendous amount of energy into the heat exchanger in your air conditioner to, to produce enough uh, water. What we did is create what we called the genius. Um, this is our unique and like I said, internationally patented heat exchanger. And it enables us to first create the best quality drinking water. It's made, as you can see here on the slide, of food grade polymers. And there's, this is the only uh, heat exchanger in the world that's created from food grade polymers. It's constructed in a way to maximize energy efficiency. So we're creating more liters per uh, kilowatt hour than anyone else on the market. In fact, we're on average five times more efficient than anyone else. And this is very important because power, electricity costs money. And so our leader is very affordable. And finally, um, and, and very importantly, with the Genius, we can produce significant amounts of water, even in dry climate. So as you can see here, as low as 20% relative humidity, we can still produce significant amounts of water. And this is critical when we're scaling this technology all over the world. Uh, two minutes, Zach. Great. So I'm going to uh, very quickly just tell you that we're oftentimes, without getting into the details, we're oftentimes asked, you know, so how does air quality um, impact your clean drinking water? And the uh, answer is that it doesn't impact it at all. We've had um, thorough testing in some of the most polluted environments in the world, in New Delhi, um, in Beijing, et cetera. And because we clean the air before we turn it into water, and then, as you can see here, pass it into, pass that air into our unique heat exchanger, the Genius, and then uh, put the water, as it's, once it's already become water, into our state-of-the-art uh, clean drinking water um, quality maintenance and treatment system. The water, no matter what the air quality, is uh, of the highest uh, drinking water quality. Now here you can see just a range of our products. Um, 
And I'll just, uh, you can see this uh, when I share the presentation afterwards. Um, but what's important to see here is that we have both large scale solutions, right? 5,000 liters per day for villages, um, you know, large buildings, hospitals, etc., down to small solutions uh, like the Jenny, which provides 27 liters per day. It's perfect for a home or an office. And this is critical for COVID um, because, I'll skip these, because as you can see here, um, you know, in the time of COVID-19, what's critical is that we have what we need in order to thrive and survive right where we are, right? Um, so what that Jenny and what indeed all of our different devices afford you to do, um, be uh, the partner or the customer, a large international organization like IDB, uh, a governmental partner or uh, a commercial partner, is it provides you complete clean drinking water independence. Again, because we're providing that source and we are eliminating the need for that infrastructure. So here you see a picture from South Africa, um, which is uh, happening right now. Um, and just to bring it home to the area of Latin America and Caribbean itself, here we launched, you can see the president of Guatemala uh, launching WaterGen's national project in Guatemala. You can see in the background our Gen M machine, which produces up to 800 liters per day. This is part of a national project that we launched with him in which we'll be scaling our technology around Guatemala in the next weeks and months in order to completely solve the drinking water crisis uh, in Guatemala, both in emergency times and non-emergency times. Just a quick note, this is actually in the national emergency warehouse uh, before the machine was deployed in order to help Guatemala fight um, lack of clean drinking water in areas that were impacted most recently by Hurricane Amanda. And finally, I don't have time for the video, I can show it later yeah. and share it with you. But you see here, uh, WaterGen as well in La Estrella, Chile. Um, all of this is to say that we have already begun and executed on many really fantastic projects in order to bring clean drinking water to all who need it, both in Latin America and Caribbean and the Caribbean and around the world. WaterGen is currently present in more than 60 countries around the world. Uh, providing clean drinking water in times of emergency, in times of routine, in homes, small scale and large scale. So Thank it's you. my pleasure to present with you today. And I hope that we can, and I look forward to working uh, with you in the future in order to bring clean drinking water uh, to every human being who needs it in Latin America and Caribbean. Thank you so much.